Today we're going to show you how far an electric trike can go on a single charge when you only use the throttle. Stick around. All right, so today Alana and I are going to show you how far can an electric trike go on a single charge when you're only using the throttle. So we're going to try to keep it at an average miles per hour of probably six to nine miles an hour. Alana and I are going to ride together on our 630 Every Journey electric tricycle. These are 250 watt front hub motors with a 10.4 amp hour battery. We are going to keep it mainly on flat ground today. We're just going to make loops around and we are going to go until this battery gets down to zero. So we will be able to show you how many miles we can make it when you only use throttle on a single charge. Now, the other caveat is the rider weights, the conditions all play a role in how long these batteries can last. So that's why we have Alana here with me today. I'm 215 pounds. Alana is 115 pounds. So you're going to see the weight differential and how it will impact the battery if it impacts the battery at all. That's why we're going to try to keep at a similar average speed and we will see how far we can go. Okay, before we get started, we just want you to take a look at my screen. Uh, my trip odometer is at 0.4 and uh, the overall oops, odometer is at zero. So just when we get to our total mileage and you can see the battery's fully charged. If you want to go ahead and shoot Alana's over there as well. Mine is already at 2.8 for the trip. And two overall. So on the 630 uh, Every Journey electric trike, the, the level of assistance actually dictates how much power output the throttle gives. Now on the standard bikes, it doesn't work that way. So for the sake of this video, so everything's created equal, we're going to set that power level um, to level four. Actually, let's do level five. Just put it all the way up. Okay. And then we're going to be on level five, which is the highest, but we're, gonna, we're not going to be giving it th full throttle the entire ride. We'll see at what pace we can move at, maybe somewhere around six, seven, eight miles an hour. Um, we'll kind of feel it out as we go, though. So come along. Let's go. Take in workout. Want me to lead the way? Yeah, you lead. Oh. So I think we strive for about eight miles an hour. Now they're moving. This is funny. All right. We strive for about eight miles an hour. That's a good healthy pace. And we'll see how long we can go. Lap one. We're trying to see how long the trikes can last. There's Nate. I don't know if you have enough daylight. Maybe not. All right, we're at about 0.5 miles, four miles in. This is gonna be a lengthy process here, I think. We're, uh, we'll be able to tell you our average speeds when we're done, but so far about eight to 10 miles an hour. All right. All right, we are, whoa. We are, this is gonna take a lot longer than we anticipated. But, oh, I gotta stretch. We are at 35 minutes. How are you feeling? Feet a little numb? Yeah, back. Okay, 35 minutes, 5.06 miles, average speed of 8.7, and we've burned 248 calories, but the app doesn't know that we're using the throttle. I have officially lost um, a battery. I don't know if you want to shoot that so everyone knows. Oh, yours is a little over five miles. Mm -hmm. Now all these tracking devices are going to be different. There you go. I'm down one battery. Now Lana's still got full battery. Okay. We're going to be at this for another hour, hour and a half-ish. 
let's uh, keep going so we got enough sunlight here. All right. All right, we're just about at seven miles here. Let's turn my audio up. We're gonna hit the seven mile mark here any minute, but it's taken us 48 minutes. So what are we averaging per mile? Well, actually, I could tell you here, let's see. Don't hit the car. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so we've been going at it 48 minutes, averaging 8.7 miles an hour. And uh, there it is, seven miles. It doesn't say our average time per mile. But let's see, seven miles. So we're averaging like, oh, about seven minutes a mile. Which, seven minutes a mile. <laughs> that's gonna be a little bit on the slow side, I guess. Should we pick up the pace a little? Sure. All right, we're gonna pick it up. Okay, I have officially lost two bars off the battery. Now we did just up the speed. We're at seven and a half miles, 52 minutes, 215 pounds. And I have three bars left on the battery. And Alana has full. Yes, full. <laughs> and she has to sleep here until the battery dies. We are coming in 10.03 miles. Oh my gosh, one hour and seven minutes. And um, whew, let me pull my, up my feet sensor. are numb. That's what happens when you don't pedal. Okay, hour eight minutes, 8.8 .8 average speed. So we did increase it 0.1 when we upped the ante a little bit. I've burned a mystery 484 <laughs> calories. And uh, yeah, if you want to see, oh, I'm down to two bars. Hmm. Wow. I still have four. If you want to take a shot of this, Nate. So this is saying 11 miles on here. My phone is saying 10, and I'm down to two bars. Probably the speed increase set me back. Mine, it's about 10.8 is what it's saying. Because I started phone? at 2.8, no. Oh, okay. So yeah, so it's all pretty close. All right, so uh, we're just gonna take a quick, quick break and then we're gonna be back riding. Okay, I'm officially down to one bar left. There's Alana. I and have four bars. <laughs> she will be here for a while. Let me go ahead and show you. Okay, we tried to pick up the speed a little bit, so down to one bar. And uh, I can't quite, I think we're at about, what are we saying mileage wise on yours? 13 miles about? 13 miles, whoa. She's all over the road here. So we'll see how much more we can get out of this uh, last little bar here. Stick around. Okay, so I'm down to one bar. Uh, I just did the selfie vid too, but just give you an update here. We just crossed 12 miles. It's been an hour and 22 minutes and uh, we've averaged 8.8 .8 miles an hour. I would say in the back half of the ride, though, we've averaged probably closer to 9 or 10. And, uh, yeah, 12.1 miles. So we are, we have averaged uh, 12 miles, 10 minutes, no, wait, sorry. 7 minutes, 6 minutes a mile now, right? 7 minutes... I'm confused. Somewhere around six minutes, six <laughs> and a half think minutes a mile. Bike. So uh, let's see how much farther we can make it. Just throttle, just throttle. Okay, we are 13 miles in. Total distance 13 miles. There it is. Total time one hour 27 minutes yep. and 59 seconds. One hour. Split speed 9.2 miles per hour. Oh. We did that. We did that mile in 9.2 miles an hour, average. So we're picking up the pace here, and Alana is about ready to get off this trike. Nate's back here at the camera, but uh, we're gonna make her keep going till it dies. <laughs> I 
she could be sleeping on this trike. So this is real life. Really doing this, we're making laps. You can check out the app and we'll show you there. I'm down to one bar, but still going strong, holding on here. So we'll keep you up to date. Okay, we just passed 15 miles uh, throttle only. And uh, I learned something, which is kind of like your gas tank in a car. We have been blinking on the battery being totally empty now for about two miles and we're and uh, Nate and Alana there's there's Alana she's still got three bars left and I'll be honest this is a long time in the saddle we are coming up on two hours here <laughs> well hour 40 <laughs> so uh, all right trike can last a while well we've made the executive decision to call it quits on the ride Alana is feeling tingly in her hands we have officially been on the bike let me stop my ride here workout pause we are at two hours and two this way two hours and three minutes 19.12 miles on miss, but this actually says Ride paused. over 20 miles on this uh, odometer. Do you want to just film this? Okay, so check the odometer here. You can see it's 21 miles on here. This this was at zero, so this is saying 21 miles. This app is saying 19.12. Alana's app, the 630 app, said 22 miles. Um, right. Oh. I didn't have it on for the whole time. Oh, okay. What does this say? 23.1, but that was at... 20, that was at 2.8, so that's at 20.3. 20. Okay, and if you don't believe that we just used throttle, you can see on my bike that the chain in the back here is actually off. Um, it's been off the entire ride, so I can't even pedal this bike if I wanted to. You can see that pedals just spin, even if I do forward. Or, oh, well, the shoot. The sensor is recognizing it, but this is not... You can see nothing's happening, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. So, 21 miles here on this... We got 19.1 uh, on my phone, 22 on the 630 app, and about a little over 20 on this app. And uh, we'll send a screenshot of the average miles times because we were hauling butt on the end there. So we are running out of daylight. Crazy enough, I'm blinking. I got about five miles with the battery basically blinking. And if you want to shoot my map here too, you can see we just made this loop <laughs> over and over again. And um, let's save the workout really quick. And let's take a look at, so not much elevation change, but <clears throat> let's see if we can get the mile splits. Um, good question. We probably can, but I don't know how to do that right now. So anyways, we'll, we'll go ahead and put the mile splits in the description and we'll send a screenshot of it but we were getting faster as we went. On average though, we averaged 9.3 miles an hour um, and uh, we were going for over two hours. So 215 pounds throttle only on flat ground. We just got over 20 miles. Alana, now I'm blinking on a dead battery. Alana still's got two bars left. I think Alana could have pushed to 25, 30 miles to be honest with you, especially considering I got five extra miles with my battery blinking on completely empty. And um, it's it's actually more than I even expected. So uh, that was super awesome. And uh, truthful, my feet are feeling a little numb right now because that was a long time to be sitting on that bike. Alana's freezing and she wants to go home. So uh, there you have it, 250 watt, every journey electric trike. If you're looking for an electric trike, this thing is awesome. Think about it too, with pedal assist, you're gonna get like 25, 30, 40, 50 miles. Keep in mind the terrain really factors in. There's a lot of factors that play into how far you go. But again, I'm 215 pounds, Alana's 115, and uh, we made it pretty far. So check out 630.com. If you have any other questions, put them in the comments below or email us at team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. Also, you can take our proprietary body fit quiz on our website. Enter your questions about your body and your life, and we'll find the perfect trike or e-trike or bike for you. 
In addition, we have a test ride your e-bike policy for 90 days. If you don't love your e-bike in 90 days, send it back, no money, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. And we're gonna warranty the bikes for 365 days if you have any issues along the way. Lastly, join our community, download the app, track your rides. Also join our Facebook peddlers group, meet other peddlers, be a part of the community before you buy, because you can ask them questions, talk to them, see how they like their bikes. Then after you have your bike, post photos, track your rides, meet lots of friends, it's tons of fun. So thanks for coming on the electric trike ride with us today. And don't forget, it's your journey, your experience. Enjoy the ride. Which she really did. <laughs> thanks. <laughs>